Hey guys, it's Lorraine with Vintage Hippie Shop, and I wanted to do a what sold video for uh, last week and through the weekend. So it's been for the past seven days. It's been sort of busy for me, but not crazy busy like I was hoping, but I'm getting a lot of listing done, and I'm going through death piles like nobody's business, so... Um, I hope everybody's well. I hope everyone is staying safe. And let's get to the sold items. First thing that sold, actually I'm kind of going backwards because this just sold today. So these are vintage hand-painted floral plates. They have the reticulated edge. I don't know who the maker was, so I did not list that. Um really really pretty plates with um, flowers on them two of them for $16.99 plus shipping sold this hat last night corona beer logo embroidered visor and i thought it'd be good for you know golfing or tennis and i got this at the bins for pennies you know they don't weigh very much and sold it for $9.99 plus shipping. I'm glad that this sold before Easter. Uh, Limoges Floral Porcelain Egg. It's not really tiny, you know, it was probably like four inches wide or so. And perfect, nothing wrong with it at all. And I know the lady who got it will enjoy it. It sold for $14.99 plus shipping. It's pretty this is a new concepts woman's sweater i actually bought this for me and it was just humongous and too big so i i never even wore it i think i just hung it up in my closet and went through my closet not too long ago to pull some stuff out and this sold for 12.99 it was brand new uh this was my husband's when he quit smoking didn't need those didn't like them and so i sold them for 25.99 plus shipping it's sugar-free nicotine gum yuck but somebody wanted it so they got it these are a four by four ziploc bags i used to be a sales rep and we would have these bags for bagging up certain things so this was years ago probably six years ago and I had them when I semi-retired and I just found them recently and I thought well I'll list them because I know that they sell good so they got sold pretty quick for $3.99 plus shipping this thing I've had for probably a year and you can see I priced it at $4.99, but I forgot that I offered free shipping. So I basically made no money on this because I had to pay for the shipping. So it was a dumb buy and an even dumber listing. I don't know why I did it like that. Sometimes if you see a listing and you hit sell one like this and you go through the process of listing your item, Sometimes the sell one like this has free shipping. And if you don't double check the shipping, it's going to show up as free shipping on your auction. So I'm learning my lesson because this has happened to me, I think, three times this week. And I was really annoyed with myself because I've been listing really a lot of stuff and I've been listing it fast. And I just got careless on three items and didn't make any money. So... Shame on me, but I think I finally learned my lesson. Uh, these were from the bins. They were brand new. Uh, Women's Victoria Secret Slippers. They had the pom-poms on the front. They uh, hardly weighed anything, so I would say they were under a dollar. And somebody gave me an offer for $8, and I took it, plus shipping. Uh, this what belonged to my husband too, that he never used it. He just looked at it. He doesn't care about diabetes, obviously, but, um, it, 
we I said it was used, although he didn't use it at all, and sold for twelve dollars and sixty cents plus shipping. So I hope the person used this uses this. This is a Vera Bradley Botanical Floral Backpack. I loved it. It was so pretty. And I think I paid three dollars for it. Um I I'm just kind of starting to sell Vera Bradley if I find it. And I notice that a lot of her patterns are retired. I don't know why she retires patterns all the time, but I heard ones with black backgrounds sell better. So I picked this up and I took a best offer of $16. I think I had it listed for $19.99. So it sold for $16 plus shipping. This was kind of a weird buy. I don't know why I bought it. I bought it because it was by Inesco in Japan. And to me, it looked like super 70s. Um, it's a vintage teapot. It's a pretty good size. It wasn't a small one. And it had a lot of crazing on it, but I realized that people do like crazing. So I paid $5 for it at Goodwill. And sold it for $14.99 plus shipping. So, eh, I made my money back. Uh, there was no damage on it. So, it sold, I'm going to say within a week. Yeah, it sold within a week for sure. Because I just listed it. And then we have this Wilton Linzer cutout cookie cutters. Um, you can see in the picture where you, you make the cookies with the jam in the middle. It had a bunch of Christmas shapes in there, um, jam cookies, that's what they're called. And it was brand new in the package. I got that at the bins too, so it it didn't weigh much. Uh, and somebody bought it for $5.99 plus shipping. This was a really cute um, kitchen towel. I got a set of them as a gift, and I've never used them. One of them had like um, paint on it or something. So I kept that one and I sold this one for $6.99 plus shipping. And I was really happy that it went before Easter. So cute though, right? It's embroidered. It, it was a really nice towel. Kitchen towel. Uh, this is Primadophilus. It's a children's product. Um powder that you mix in with their drinks for I don't know what it's for honestly must be for like tummy I don't know anyway it's a dietary supplement sold it for three dollars somebody gave me an offer of three dollars so I took it three dollars plus shipping um these were small forks that I picked up with a whole bunch of silverware at an estate sale. I paid $12 for a whole box and I've sold off most of it and made my money back. But these were just like three loose pieces that I couldn't really match up with anything. So uh, she gave me an offer of $3 and I took it. I've had it for probably six months. So, $3 plus shipping. These were Hippie Tree shorts. I've never heard of that brand before. And so I looked it up online, and it's like a cool hipster company. And I only had these listed for a little over a week, probably. And somebody uh, gave me an offer of $13. I had them listed for $14.99. And somebody gave me an offer of 13 so I took it and it sold. Here's another one of those t-shirts from Dollar Tree. Um, I, I bought like, I don't know, maybe 10 of them. And I've sold probably three or four of them by now. Um, $5.99 plus shipping. It's super cute though, right? I like it. Straight up mama's boy. <laughs> oh, here's another dumb thing I did. You can see uh, it's an Eddie Bauer toiletry bag. I paid a dollar for it at a thrift store. And it sold for $9.99. But 
once again, there's that free shipping that I didn't account for. And, you know, it wasn't super light. So it cost me, I know it cost me over $6 to ship. So I didn't make any money on that either because I wasn't paying attention when I said sell one like this. And the other seller had fast and free shipping. So I lost out on that. It was a cool bag. I would have liked to make some money on it, but oh well. It is what it is. These were mine, Dansko Pippa, um, black rubber cutout uh, clogs. Super cute. I bought them years ago and don't really wear them too much. Um, so I listed them to make room in my closet and they sold for, I got an offer for 35 so I took it. 35 plus shipping. Super cute and comfortable though. Oh, here's another dumb thing. $7.99 plus free shipping. Um, I think I paid like $3.50 for this shirt. It was like an old corduroy mechanics kind of shirt made by Hagar. And it had a lot of fading on the sleeves and the neck. Um, but it was new. And... So I thought, well, I'll just list it for $7.99 and see where it goes. I did put it to auction, and somebody bid $7.99. But, of course, I did not realize that it said free shipping. So um, I didn't make any money on that. I lost money. By the time I paid for the item and the shipping, um, I lost money. Not that much, but still. Uh, this was great. A vintage party hostess dress. I did not know that they made hostess gowns in the 60s and 70s. It literally said hostess gown on the tag. So I just thought it was hilarious. The colors were really bright and pretty. And I've never sold vintage clothing. And since I was in an estate sale and they were asking $1 for each piece of clothing... I thought, well, I'm going to get it just to try it. So I listed it at, I think I started it at $7.99 or something like that. And it went for $9.50 plus shipping. Um, super fun. I don't know. I, I can see somebody like wearing it to Coachella or to some sort of festival. Uh, super hippie, super bohemian. Uh, really pretty, though. Okay. Uh, this new Guidi Genuine Italian Leather Wallet, $99 retail. I went on their website and saw, but I got an offer for $30 and I took it. This was um, a few weeks before the shutdown, so um, I was glad to have it go out the door. <clears throat> $30 plus shipping, I think I said that already. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, this was a purse that I don't know if it was one of my purses or one of my mom's purses, but anyway, it was made by Rosetti and it's a crossbody and it's kind of medium size. It was not leather. So, um, really, I didn't realize that I sent that for free too, fast and free shipping. <sighs> well, Maybe I made six bucks on it. I don't know. I really have to pay attention. I'm. I see. I told you guys that I was doing this fast and free stuff without realizing what was going on. So I'm just slowing down now, uh, getting through each death pile. In fact, I'm going to make a video of. I have a couple death pile boxes in my closet, and I don't remember what's in them. So I think I'm going to do like an unboxing and show you what's in there. And I'll be surprised too, because I really don't remember what's in those boxes. Um, but anyway, this purse sold for $12.99 uh, plus free shipping. <clears throat> These were uh, leggings. Um, there was a, a girl that bought two, two pairs of them. I forget what I had them listed for, like $7.99 maybe. She offered me $5 uh, plus shipping. And so, this was one pair she got, the Mandala Boho print, 
And then this was another mandala boho print. Super cute, $5 each plus shipping. And I like them, but I don't know. They were like tight on my legs or something. I don't know. Just wasn't, wasn't happening. <laughs> plus I'm not tall. I don't know why I have tall leggings. I'm not a tall person. <clears throat> okay, this was a new in-package bagel slicer. Um, you know, just a little kitchen gadget. Everybody likes kitchen gadgets, except for me. <laughs> but um, it sold pretty quickly for $6.99 plus shipping. These I picked up quite a while ago. They um, are vintage, made out of cedar, and they hold your glasses. Um, so you don't lose your glasses. I don't know about you guys, but everybody's always losing their glasses. So, um, these sold, it sold for $4.99 plus shipping. This was another, um, dollar dress that I picked up from that estate sale. Except this one was by Alice of California. It was like a total moo-moo. It had some stains. It's old, you know, from the 50s or, or from the 60s or 70s. So, um, I disclosed, you know, that there was a couple stains on it. <clears throat> and actually, this girl was really excited to get it. So, uh, she said, I can't wait to wear it in my shelter-in-place house. So, <laughs> I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, Under Armour Men's Loose Fit um, Half Zip uh, Pullover. Kind of thin material so it would you know keep you warm but not so warm and it was in perfect condition and somebody gave me an offer of $13.50 so I took that plus shipping these are so pretty really thin porcelain uh, coffee mugs I paid a dollar each they sold for $12.99 plus shipping um, they're hand painted they were really really pretty uh, I couldn't imagine using them here. It'd probably get cracked or chipped right away. So these were in perfect condition. And it took a while for them to sell. But I knew that uh, I just had to wait for the right person. And I think I already got positive feedback on those. Because they're beautiful. They're really nice. This was uh, Walita Sensitive Care Facial Cream. Just one of these beauty bag items that I never used. Um, this one I knew I was going to ship for free because it didn't weigh much. So it sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Uh, these cute bunnies sold before Easter. That made me happy. <clears throat> Although I didn't make that much money because uh, I think I paid $5 for both of them. And I only sold them for 12 plus shipping. But uh, the lady that got them already left me feedback. And it just makes me happy that she'll have them for Easter. Since we're all going to be locked up in our house for Easter. Which is kind of sad. But it is what it is. This I got at Goodwill. Joy Mangano. Um better beauty case it's like a case that unrolls and you can put makeup or jewelry or whatever you want it has removable compartments like they stick on with velcro um, kind of a cool thing I like the pink color so I got it and it sold within a couple weeks for $14.99 plus shipping this I got from another estate sale it was just kind of a throw it in for free thing um, Really cute uh, soap dish. So, uh, I don't remember if it was a home project or not. But anyway, um, it was super cute. And it sold for $7.99 plus shipping. That's it. Um, brand name closet is the name of my uh, eBay store. I'm still selling on Etsy. I sold one thing this week on Etsy. But I'm kind of steering away from it. I just don't think that the platform is that good for me because I'm selling, you know, clothes and newer stuff. So, um, yeah, I'm going to do a um, 
Death Pile Unboxing. That's what I'm going to do. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow night. Anyway, you guys, stay safe, stay healthy, stay positive. We're going to come out the other side good when this is all over. And I hope you all have a really good week. And I'll talk to you later. Peace.